G'day my friends, Marty Ware from Marty's Garden, yes the Marty's Garden show and I'm back after a few weeks, about actually close to three weeks now since I've made a video and it's been quite amazing seeing what's sort of going on in, in YouTube, there's so much good content coming out there these days and I know, you know, I've got to do something a little bit different, I'm a micro farmer and I still, you know, I'm delivering to uh, some restaurants at the moment but it's quietened down a little bit because as you can see I've got the woolies on it's in this low 50s for Fahrenheit, and about 11 degrees Celsius, something like that, right as we speak. And we're going to hit around about 18 today. We've been 16 to 18. We get up to around about 20s, which I think is 75 in Fahrenheit, but we don't use that in Australia. But anyway, look, I've got my microclimate sort of set up here in the corner because uh, in the winter the sun's much lower. So it comes down in here, and in the summer it actually is straight above, so it doesn't actually get in here at all. And it's protected from the southwest winds, which are our cool winds, which come off the mountains and off the snow and the low pressure systems. They create the surf that, that I go and ride out through the day. I've been riding into a few waves lately. I've still got my torticollis in the neck, unfortunately, and that also keeps me a bit off the computer uh, so much because uh, it affects the way that... Um, I can stay in the sunlight here, it's nice and warm for my face. Um, it actually hurts my neck a bit to be on the computer too much. But there are some other changes going on in, uh, in Marty's Garden actually. And I'm setting up a food ministry for children. Yes, I'm moving into a non-profit network. And I'm going to be uh, looking at working on some overseas projects. As you know, if you followed other videos, we went to the Philippines and I did some educational stuff over there teaching about some of the Willem van Cottom vertical growth systems and also we did some trials on some microgreens over there which worked quite well so which shows that um, we can actually do it in uh, the hot southeast uh, Asia climate so that's really interesting and I'm working the, the crew that I'm going to be working in with like it's going to be my own I'm going to be the head director for the non-profit organization but I'm going to be working with some other teams such as uh, the Surfside Church, which I go to now, where I'm uh, one of the leaders there, and also with uh, John Brown Ministries, who's connected with a guy who's putting together, believe it or not, mate, this is just so awesome, and it's what inspired me to get going, because I was going to actually, wasn't going to do this for another year or two. Um, they're building playgrounds for children in Southeast Asia, in places where kids have never, ever seen a swing before. And he was telling me about how uh, a lot of places that they've been to lately to put these playgrounds up that the food has been that bad that um, th he said one story, a little kid was on the swing and my mum was calling, come and get your food, come and get your food. It had some certain name and they didn't want to eat it because it made them sick in the stomach and was giving them diarrhoea. And they would much prefer to just stay on the swing. So <laughs> um, I was chatting with John Brown and who knows where he may, John Brown may even get on a video in the future, in the near future if things work out and we get that connection going. And uh, he was saying that they just wanted to keep on the swing and he said it was just, it was just amazing. So they've got this factory where they build the playgrounds and then they transport them to these places and at the moment he's just on his way to Chiang Mai and just outside of Chiang Mai in the northern upper reaches is a place called Chiang Mai which is on the Myanmar, the old Burma border. And so I'm going to be working in hopefully with him and some of my own projects. And so if you're supporting Marty's Garden and getting my videos out there, because I get a little bit of income coming in from YouTube, it's not much, it's actually dropped significantly. It's significantly uh, about, about 60, no, about 40% in the last three weeks. So I haven't even been in there. And there's so many people in there doing videos. But if you can share my videos and get them out there more, it makes a little bit more money, and the money goes off into the uh, non-profit uh, foundation, etc., to help these little kids. Now, I've also sponsored a child in Cebu in the Philippines uh, called Charmaine, and uh, there's a photo of her right here. Lovely girl, and Cara and I are going to be writing photos to it. And, you know, I take my hat off to my parents because they've been doing that all their lives. Um, you know, I had a black and white TV when everyone else had colours, coloured TVs because we sponsored children overseas. And I remember a little boy named Elvis, you know, he was so cool. And, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's inspired me to do this. And, you know, being a Christian uh, and, um, you know, a follower of Jesus, you know, that's what he did. He shared his love out there to the world. And I want to get out there and help as well as much as I can. So this year we've got the financial year just starting in, a, in a, actually a few days. 
in Australia and it's going totally over to non-profit so everything that you support from Marty's Garden and the website Happy House and Garden so just remember if you see any Happy House and Garden com stuff that you like and you think it's shareable uh, please also pass that around because that will help with uh, you know funding this what I'm doing for this you know non-profit organization and there'll be more uh, up updates and things in uh, Google Plus and in my Facebook account and in also in here in YouTube on that and I'll do my best to uh, bring that out and some educational content as well now a little bit about the microclimate that I just mentioned at the beginning. If you can keep the wind, uh, the cool winds away, and you know you can actually get these little mini greenhouses, which I use, they get quite warm, and sometimes you've got to open them up a bit. Like it's really quite cold today, but um, I'll close that back down um, because I want to keep the warmth in there. But on the warmer days, I just open it up, and then at nights I cool it down. You can put bricks and things in there. The bricks will hold the temperature. And then they'll release that that warm of warmth off the bricks overnight. Um, I also put plants up onto bricks um, through the day, and then they warm up through that and keep them in black containers, etc. But anyway, listen. The, the main reason the video is about is to just tell you about the new uh, my new ministry, my new food ministry for children. It's based for children uh, in Australia and Southeast Asia to help them grow more food fast. In in you know in places such as orphanages, orphanages and schools etc and around villages and things where I can set up educational um, systems where it's so easy to do that kids can grow their own food and the parents can get involved and they can set it up sustainably and use recyclable material and everything that's on site and produce food really fast so just in like uh, one or two weeks they could have food on the you know on the table and then we, we set it up like an A, B, C, D and E group so your A groups like you want your, your sprouts and your microgreens and then you've got your, your next group which will be your uh, your fruits and things not if, you know such as tomatoes and chilies and things you can have food within uh, six weeks and then your fruit trees it will be like you say your D's down further where you know it might take a year or two to get to get fruit trees. Your passion fruit would be somewhere around your B to C's because you can get fruit and food within uh, three, to, three to four months. So it's a matter of setting up these systems and just you know, overseeing them and teaching them how to do it at the same time. And I lived in Southeast Asia for four years and I speak Thai fairly well, fairly fluently and um, my daughter, as you know, is half Thai if you've been following it. Anyway, this has been going on for quite a while and what I'm asking you to do is please share the videos, other old videos that you see, anything from Happy House and Garden and we will be in touch real soon. Love you all, have a great day and I hope you enjoyed the update. I'm still around and I'm going to keep staying around for quite a while. Just maybe you can pray for me a little bit to help me neck get back into, uh, back into gear. Alright, have a great day. See you later. Bye for now.